As we make our changes to responsive designs, we're going to run into a few issues. Let's take a peek at some of them. So here's the site so far. Let's say that I've decided that as I make my windows smaller, I would like my images to become smaller as well. Let's inspect this. So right now, uh, we have an image tag, and it's inside a figure tag. Now, the reason we're inspecting this tag tree is because I've actually made a few changes in the code uh, for this copy of the Kevin Bacon website that I put in the week 11 folder. And the change I made was that I added these figure tags to give us a little more control. So our image tags are right now inside the figure tags and now it's the figure that is floating left. So I've decided that I want the figure tag to be a percentage of my page and not a fixed width so that they'll get smaller as the page resizes. All right, it's time for a little math. Uh, let me get my calculator. What percentage of the aside is the figure or the image. Um, okay, so the previous figures or images are going to be in the images folder. There's one of them. It is 148 pixels wide by 216 pixels tall. And the whole aside is, was 320 pixels. Let's calculate. 148 divided by 320. And then we'll times it by 100. Forty-six point two five percent. That means that each one of these images or figures is roughly 46% of the aside. Use the whole thing. It's going to be 46.25% of its container. Save and Refresh. Let's close this and see what happens. Oh, 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 look, they're overlapping. All right, we have a little more work to do. This is a common problem with responsive layouts. So now I'm going to create a rule. I'm going to make a very specific rule for these images because I don't want my other images to be affected by them. So I'm going to say the image that is a child of the figure, which is a child of the aside. That's my very specific path. And then I'll just set a maximum width to them. And I will make that 100%. So what this is saying is, I can only get as big as my container. Let's save this. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. So max width is a really powerful, powerful property. So now I'm wondering if the other images would be okay with this max width also. I've got a logo up here at the top, 
and I've got this header image that I think is inside a um, subhead container. So let's just try removing some specificity and see how that works. I'll take off the figure and the aside and just leave it at image. Save and refresh. So now, oh yeah, the image, the logo gets a little smaller. And the header image though, look, I start to lose Kevin Bacon there. So maybe I should work to, where's, where is that? That's in the subhead. There it is. So maybe after no repeat, I add center and top. Save. Refresh. Oh yeah, I can already see that happening. So now the center of the image stays with Mr. Bacon. My uh, logo here begins to get smaller as my screen goes smaller. And the only thing I really don't like here is this awkwardness here, right? If I had a really tiny phone, which I do, <laughs> then that, that would be awkward. So let's play with that in the next video.